<laughs> Welcome guys, we're in a little bit of an impromptu studio. We've been sending out a bunch of billet wheels and we hate to leave you guys high and dry. So we're gonna show you how to install them real quick just as like a filler till we can get a full official install video out. Yeah. Before we pop off the stator to put into this, we will first add the O-rings along the outside of this. We will unscrew all these, put the O-rings in, and then we will drop the stator in. Make sure you take off the big side and not the small side. As you can see, the difference. Easiest way to do this, fully disassemble your board and put your rail back on one side here. On the then, motor side, motor yeah. cable side. On your motor cable side, make sure you have all of these unscrewed. That way we can pop this off and put the stator in the billet wheel. So Madsen, what's the easiest way to get this thing loose and pull it out? So in my opinion, the easiest way from experience is obviously you take out the screws and on the other side here, uh, you're gonna have no axle block. It's just gonna be a bare axle and there's gonna be nothing on here. So against some table bump, you can use a bonk rock you can use a lot of a lot of tools for this, but you simply push against this and your stator will pop out. All right, here we are, the axle right here. We are going to push up on this. This will push in and at the top here, this will come out. So we will just pop it up against the side of the table and here you can see the cap will lift up. You're gonna push along the tire or on the rim. It'll pop up like so. And at this point, we can now grab the rail, get some leverage. Here, I wanna do this. I like to use my feet to push against the rim. With my arms, you're gonna pull straight up and out. There's your stator. Oh yeah. So uh, next, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take the stop cap off and we're going to put our brand new GT billet hub cap on. So to do that we got to take the rail off. Easy as that. So obviously make sure your shield is off uh, when we're taking this part off. The cable shield. All right so for this it may take a little bit of force but you should be able to just pull that right on up using your thumbs as sort of a uh, lever. A lever. That comes right off. And then this goes right on. So once we got that on, we want to push it down. Make sure you don't do weird sideways pressure and have it fall over. Just be very careful with it. It should go on fairly easy. And uh, there we go. We're ready to pop Satisfying. this back into the billet. Satisfying so, click. Yeah. Same thing as before. We'll put our rail back on. That way we'll have a little bit of extra stability when we're uh, sort of dropping it back in. Pretty chill, yeah. you could say. So uh, now we got the rail on, let's stick it back in here. This is a very crucial kind of a, uh, you want to be delicate with this part. So I like to brace it between my legs. If you have a tire on it already, same thing, your stance is going to be a little lighter, wider. And we want to slowly lower this in being centered and it should grab and just pop right on in. You twist it to the side a little bit till it clicks on down. And uh, yeah, give it a little bit of a, a push down and you're ready to uh, rock and roll. So yeah, once you got it all in here, everything like that, put your screws in both sides and you're ready to rock and roll. We love you guys. Thank you so much for the amazing support on all the pre-orders for the billet wheels. We really do appreciate it. We can't wait to see you guys shredding. Heck yeah. For sure. Let's get it! Shoot!